Welcome to this Beyond Default tutorial on how to set up your Axis camera. In this edition we will look at how to manually override the default exposure settings for difficult lit scenes. We will be using a feature found in most Axis camera called Exposure Zones to adjust the exposure in the camera. Let's look at this sample scene. It has a strong light coming from the windows, influencing and darkening the exposure in the primary area of interest. We could have moved the camera, but we will use this scene as an illustration to show how you can tweak your exposure. This shot shows the same scene after tweaking. The image is correctly exposed on the primary area of interest, that is, the reception area. Of course there is a trade-off, as always when dealing with cameras. Here we see the area close to the window being severely overexposed. Now let's look at how it works. Move into the setup menu and then the video and audio submenu. From here on you go into camera settings and on the middle of the page you will find exposure zones. Click defined then edit and a new window will open and you will get access to the exposure zones. On VDR enabled cameras the default usage in dynamic scenes should be VDR. But if you for some reason need to manually use exposure windows, the camera has to be set to light finder mode in order to gain access to the exposure zones. At default, the exposure zone is set to auto, but we will now check the radio button marked defined and then click edit. As the axis communication box cameras are configured to be ceiling mounted at default, that is upside down, the camera has an option to turn the image 90, 180 and 270 degrees electronically for other types of mounting. If the camera is placed on the camera stand like in the picture, the image will have to be turned 180 degrees to be viewed correctly. This is accomplished in the video stream submenu of the basic setup. When we move back into the exposure zones menu, we will see that the preview window is still upside down. This is normal and does not change the performance of the camera nor the exposure zones. You just have to keep in mind that right, left, up and down is relative to the image, not to your screen. By using the exposure zones, we can pre-configure an area where we want the camera to get the exposure data from. There are several different preset options, as well as a fully customizable version. There is the center, where we get the most of the exposure data from the central part of the image. We have the spot exposure, which allows us to get all data from a fairly small portion in the center of the image. As with all Axis features, please remember to save your settings in order for them to take effect. The upper exposure zone gets most of the exposure data from the upper one-third of the image. The lower exposure zone does the same, except it uses the lower one-third of the image. The left and right exposure zone use the left and right one-third portion of the image respectively. As you can see in this scene, changing the exposure from left to right significantly changes the overall exposure. Using the left, the image is exposed for the wall outside, whereas the right gives a better exposure for the reception while overexposing the area outside. Sometimes, however, the standardized presets are not adequate to handle a special scene. This could be caused by bright lights or very dark areas within the field of view. To handle these special situations, we can use the customized settings. The custom windows can be dragged, dropped and resized by pulling on the tag in the lower right hand corner. For this scene, we would like to have the exposure value based on the reception area and the wall off to the right. There always have to be at least one include window when using the custom options, but a total of 10 include and or exclude windows can be used to tailor the exposure zone. These are added using the add buttons above the image. The windows are weighed according to their relative size when determining actual exposure and the custom include window has a 100% include as default. When using exclude windows, these have to be placed inside an include window in order to work because the area outside is already excluded from contributing to the exposure. As you can see in the video, Excluding the bright area to the left does not alter exposure at all. Once we overlap the exclude and the include windows, the area behind the exclude is not taken into consideration for exposure anymore. This is clearly visible when we remove the exclude window. 
If there is a scene where you want to mask out one or more strong light sources, the easiest way to go about this is to draw an include over the entire scene and then add exclude windows over the light sources. In all other cases, one or few include windows should do the trick. A word of caution. When using the customized exposure windows, we do not want to make the windows too small or place them where people or things are likely to move and thereby changing the lighting conditions. In the following sequence, a small spot metering is placed in the central part of the scene. Now look what happens as a person enters into the area of the exposure zone. As you may have noticed, the presets has a percentage number associated with it. The number indicates the amount of exposure coming from the area within the preset exposure window. If you select center, we see that the number within the frame is set to 75%. This means that 75% of the exposure information is acquired from within the frame. Moving into and selecting spot metering, we can see that in addition to the size of the window decreasing, the value of the exposure window is now 100%. This means that only the part of the scene covered by the spot exposure preset is being used for evaluating and setting proper exposure. There is also an option to adjust the amount of exposure data gained from the custom exposure windows. As an example, 80% can be measured in the custom window while 20% is obtained from the rest of the image. This can be accomplished through the camera's plane config setting. Let's navigate to the appropriate setting. Start by moving into the system options. Then click Advanced and then Plane Config. In the drop down menu, select Image Source and then push Select Group. Scrolling down the new window, you will find a value called Custom Exposure Window and Weight. This is set at 100% as default but can be set to whatever value you need. We will set it at 80. This means that 80% of the exposure data is obtained from the custom window or windows, while the rest of the image provides 20%. After changing the weight settings, save, then navigate back to the custom exposure windows in order to fine tune the exposure window settings. That's the end of this tutorial. Hopefully it has given you more knowledge and confidence in order to tweak your camera to get the best results out of your surveillance video, even in those difficult lit scenarios. But remember, before you change any settings, determine what the camera should see. Once you have a clear view of the operational requirements, it becomes easier to stay one step ahead, the axis way.